Hello everyone. So today we're going to discuss about the chart of accounts in QuickBooks. So the chart of accounts is the listing of all the company's accounts and their balances. In QuickBooks, we use these accounts to categorize the transactions on every single financial transaction. So this is the icon for our chart of accounts. This one. To add a new account, just right click and then choose new or the shortcut is control N and then choose what type of account you're going to add. So I'm going to add an expense, click continue, and then type the account name. Okay. The other information are optional. Click save and close or save and new. Okay. Aside from this portion in QuickBooks where we add the account, there are also other places in QuickBooks where we can add accounts. So if you're writing a check for a janitorial expense, it's not yet here in the chart of accounts. So once you click this drop down arrow, there's an option to add new expense. So there, you are adding an account in the right checks window. Or if you are creating a journal entry, okay, and let's say you're going to add a rent expense, it's not yet in our list. There's also the add new button here, the type of account, click continue. There, okay? So you don't have to go back to the home page and click the chart of accounts in order to add account. There are shortcuts anywhere. And then to delete an account, just highlight the account, right click and click delete account or the shortcut is control D. All right, there. But if you are going to delete an account that has already been used in the transaction, you won't be able to delete it because of course it will mess up your balances, but you can make it inactive. You can click make inactive or you can right click and then make account inactive. So it's not anymore in your chart of accounts. But to bring it back, you can click include inactive and then click on the X mark. All right, there. And then to create a sub account, just right click, new, and then expense, continue. So we're going to create a sub account for the depreciation expense okay so office office equipment and then click up account off depreciation expense okay there if you would like to activate the account numbers just click edit preferences accounting company preferences and then use account numbers click OK. Okay, so there. Every time that you're going to add a new account, when you right click to add a new account, income, it will now ask you for the account number. So that's the account number. Okay, there. If you're going to double click on a balance sheet account from bank to equity, it will give you a register. But if you're going to double click an income or expense account, it will automatically give you the report there. So if you would like to generate a, a report on the balance sheet account, just highlight, right click, then click quick report or the shortcut is control Q. You can also sort the chart of accounts by clicking on the headers. You can sort it by name, you can sort it by type, or you can sort it by balance total, but the default is sorting by type. So there, those are the basics of the chart of accounts in QuickBooks. And you can also watch my other video on how to import your long list of accounts through an Excel file. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.